Hey travelers, still indoors and Troyless, but I thank you again for... Oh, is that my new name? Troyless. Troyless. Yeah. It's better than Carlos. <laughs> Carlitos? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this, this week is another two beer week, two beer toast, um, but it's going to be a good one nonetheless. So we've got, we've got only Midwest beers and we have puppies. Sorry guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's Penny. Mom hasn't been home. I just got <laughs> home, so there's going to be... <laughs> That's nice that they like you. Mom love. Okay, anyway, sorry. Anyway, we have we have a beer from Illinois, and we have a beer from Wisconsin. But before that, I promised last week that I would give a shout-out to Brian on the show. <laughs> and uh, Hi, Brian. Give, hey, Brian. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. And, and thanks for everybody that, that watches this show and comments every week. Uh, we, we truly do appreciate that Greg and and all of you guys it's it's uh, it's great we we love uh, we love interacting with you and hopefully someday when this stupid pandemic is over we can uh, venture out and have beers with all of you people so that so would be where's Brian from I think Brian's in the state somewhere he's got a woodman's near him I know that much do you know what his favorite beer is does anybody have a favorite beer? Well, I do. But. I don't. There's too many beers to have a favorite beer. How can you have a favorite? I what what is your favorite beer, by the you way? You know what my favorite beer is. No. Oh, peanut butter porter from Dangerous Man, which they had a COVID case this week, so they're shut down for the time being too. Oh, the vid. Unfortunately, that's what seems to be happening across the Midwest because cases keep rising, but we're not going to go too much into that, but I will say now is the time more than ever to support your local brewery, your local restaurant, yes. your local small business in general, because they are all struggling still and even more so in certain areas of our country. So if you're in one of those places, and even if you're not in one of those places, still shop small and and buy from your, uh, from your little businesses because they really need it. Your local salon. Your local, your local salon. <laughs> if you're like me, you don't really need the salon all that much. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, just just a friendly reminder to do that because um, I have a feeling we're going to turn a corner eventually on this thing, and and uh, those guys need your support because Lord knows we can't rely on our government to do it. So just um, each other. Yeah, we're gonna spread we're gonna the have love. To, gonna have to rely on each other to get through this. Spread the love. Uh, to get to the finish line anyway. So, a couple beers that I picked up from the one of our favorite coffee grounds. I know we talk about the coffee grounds all the time here in Eau Claire. Um, went through the cooler and I found... I was, I was in the mood for a lager and I found a dark lager, but then I also found something else that I thought would at least pique Beth's interest the next time that she had to be on the show and just so happens it's two weeks in a row. Ta-da! So... We're gonna go with the first one because this this is the the least crazy of the two. It so this is spooky looking. More Brewing Company Dark Lager. Yeah, it would fit more in the uh, Halloween. the Halloween as far as the label goes. Oh, is that like a picture it's, of a fly on the front? Uh, yeah. No, a it's bat. a bat. It's a it's bat. bat. Weird. Yeah. So this is a Munich, at least what it says, Munich style dark lager. That's a big point. Real low ABV, four point eight. So. This is out of Illinois. Ooh. You can this almost smells like the uh, the lazy monk dark. That smells good. Easy drinker. It's a little bubbly. Yeah, it's got a high high on carbonation. Yeah. Yeah. Good though. Mm-hmm. Our dogs don't like beer. But yet they want to be around us. And this one's normally camera shy, so I don't know. You missed the mama. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So more brewing company. I've been seeing more of these. <laughs> I've been seeing more of more lately around here. <clears throat> I don't know if Candace is just able to get. She's really good at getting Candace. Beer, so. Yeah. Candace doesn't watch this show. That's okay. But that's all right. We'll Still cheers make a, to her. We'll make a shout out to Candace nonetheless. Cheers to her and that they got all the truffles back in. Mm. Yeah. Where are those truffles from? I don't even know. 
I'm not entirely sure. I have to look the next time, but oh, they're so good. They yeah. had a cognac one the last time I was there and a Merlot. Oh, so good. Good stuff. Really good stuff. That's an easy drinker. Mm-hmm. Not going to lie to you. It actually does kind of remind me of um, Lazy Monk's beer. The dark one. The yeast is a little different, but um, it's good. It's really good. Um, I will remind you. So every third Wednesday of the month, which we're recording this on a Wednesday, so every third Wednesday of the month we do Badger Beer Hour, we meaning me, and uh, two other guys in in, uh, Wisconsin. So Greg is in Madison and Chris is down in the Milwaukee area. So for, excuse me, so for those of you that like to know a little bit more about Wisconsin beer, we do a whole hour dedicated to Wisconsin beer. And uh, tonight we had Lakefront Brewery on for the interview. Ooh, Lakefront. Yeah, Russ Klisch do- joined us and uh, and uh, Michael, and there's no way I'm going to get Michael's last name right. <clears throat> I know how to spell it, but I will not pronounce it correctly because it is not, so I don't want to offend Michael. Anyway. What does um, it start with? <laughs> an S. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, he's the, the head of... Um, sales i believe and uh so they were talking about lakefront's big black friday they they do a black friday beer what every they, year what do they oh they make a special beer it's oh, not yeah. like a sale okay and, and normally during a non-covid year it's uh long lines around the brewery and um you know four in the morning you, you get out there four in the morning to stand in line typically because we're in wisconsin it's cold and this year's probably not going to be too much of an exception although warmer than normal um not gonna happen uh typically the way that it does so they're distributing their beers to some of their um their better you know places liquor stores that kind of a thing um so yeah a whole different concept this year than they would in a normal year and they brewed less of it not even knowing that it was going to be a covid year (laughs) so do they follow a certain style of beer when they do that every year? Or that is, is an, just... an imperial stout is the base. Okay. And then they do some variants on it. Um, last year, they actually did a five-year. So they had it sitting in barrels for five years. Wow. And I didn't get to try any of it because I'm in Eau Claire. Um, and I don't know enough people. But the, the, the Chris... Got to try it, and from what everybody else had said, it was freaking amazing. I, so I believe that and, all their beers. And they that I've didn't had is say freaking. <laughs> little movie reference for you there. Anyway, um, so this one's out of Beloit, Wisconsin. Beloit. Who would have thought that Beloit has a brewery? Where is Beloit? Southern Wisconsin. Sure about that? Yes. Not too far away from Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. They even have a, uh, I think I think they still have a uh, minor league baseball team. So what's this one called? So this is from G Five Brewing, and this is called Pocket Marshmallows. I hope there's no lint in it. I hope not. <laughs> pocket. <lint>. Yeah. <laughs> pot. What is? What's with the pocket? I have no idea. I tried to find an information on that, but it. It's uh, not packet. Nope, it's pocket. I looked it up. Interesting. I looked it up. I did some research. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Because I knew I was doing a, doing one with you. So. Ooh. That doesn't even. I don't really. There isn't really anything on the nose at all. Uh, yeah, there is. But it's really sweet. It doesn't smell like marshmallow. It smells fr- fruity. You're smelling something different than I am. Mm-mm. Yeah. Fruity. Sweet. Oh, wow. Not what I was expecting. No. Yeah. What is that? Vanilla? No, something else. Mm. Mm. What is that? Uh, it doesn't really say. So, it's got a nice government warning on it, though. Anyway, uh, 8.5%, so it's... Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's a dryer lint from the pocket. 
You think? No. You ever tasted dryer lint? It's coconut. Think so? Yep. It's coconut. Do it again. It's coconut. Either it is, or you just convinced my mind that it is coconut. So, <clears throat> I don't get any, I don't really get any marshmallow. No. Like, not to be mean, but. <clears throat> I would have expected, uh, being an Imperial Stout, I think it's an Imperial Stout, correct? Yep. Nice stout. Use. I would have expected chocolate, marshmallow, and maybe like a hint of graham, but I'm not really getting that. Are you? It's not Marshmallows a, it's, in your pocket. It's not a bad beer. Maybe I see it is lint. It's pocket lint. That's what that tastes like to me. I'm gonna have to look that up and see what see what's in there because it doesn't say. I'm still just impressed that Beloit has a uh, brewery. It's a good beer. It's a good beer. But yeah. Now that campfires, I mean, I almost had a campfire the other night. But um, for those of you that like to be inside when it's mostly cold it's one of those beers that would go good around the campfire but yeah i don't know it's it's an odd it's not a it's, it's surprising it's, it's a great it's not it's, it's not a bad not, beer it's just not what i thought it was going to taste like there's beer. no chocolate in it whatsoever which to me marshmallows like s'mores but it doesn't say s'more it well, says there's, marshmallow. there's the chocolatiness that you would get from a a stout is there lactose in it there again, I don't know. Creaminess? I don't know. It tastes like coconut. Though. Yeah. Like a macaron. Like yeah, it kind of does. You know? Yeah. Interesting. But good. Now, if you can Smooth. get your hands on that. Although Beloit, probably not distributing real wide. Oh, it shows you on the can where Beloit is. No, I already knew where Beloit was. <laughs> I've been to Chicago. Yeah. Been by Beloit. I'm proud. Believe it or not. I'm proud. South I know Dakota more. Boy. I know more about Wisconsin than you do. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time. Oh look, it's sleeping. Oh good. Anyway, two beers this week. Sorry guys, I'm that's, a lightweight. That's what we do when Beth is on. Uh, we will get around to the uh, the Goose Island at some point. Um, Ooh, what's that? <clears throat> we're doing a whole. Uh, I think what's the the earliest year? Twenty sixteen. Doing twenty fifteen. Doing five years of. Yes. Bourbon County Stout. Oh, that's right. Because I got one of the. Yeah. Me and my girls got the hookup. We just got to figure out how we're going to get Troy in during this COVID time into the house and be safe about it. So. Yeah. You have two cameras. We of, could split screen it too, maybe. Yeah, it's not as fun. It's not as fun, but. And waking Troy up after his nap. You know, he gets home, goes to bed. He's an old feller. By the way, Troy just had a birthday. So Woohoo! Happy birthday, happy Troy. Happy birthday to Troy. If you made it this far into the episode, make sure you say happy birthday to Troy. He does watch this show. Believe it or not, mm-hmm. he does. Is he older than me? I don't believe so. I think he's younger. <sighs> you're you're an old lady. What can I say? Thanks. You're welcome. That's why you married me. Did you tell them about our wonderful um, advent calendars we have sitting up? Oh, advent calendars. By the way, uh, for those of you that have ever done an advent calendar, um, if that's a thing in your life, um, even if it's not, now's the time to look into it because beers, advent calendar beers. So um, Beth actually got me a 12 pack of clown shoes. It's not exactly an advent calendar because it doesn't cover. It's every other day. doesn't cover advent. So that's assuming it's it's uh, twelve days of Christmas. It's an yeah, it's the twelve days of Christmas. So it's twelve different beers for the mm-hmm. twelve days of Christmas. However, I did just procure tonight, uh, when this is being recorded, the Modcraft Advent Calendar. Uh, it helps to know people in the liquor world. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, Modcraft out of Milwaukee came up with an actual Advent Calendar box. So you get crate you get a 24 yep 24 uh, so a case of beer all different beers 
and uh, one for each day, and you get to punch a hole in the in the box, and you pull it out, and it's a different beer every day. Ta-da. So covers you for the the duration of Advent. Um, that one's only going for I think sixty five bucks, which is actually pretty good. Yeah, for for, how, uh, for how a many case. Beers are in there? Yeah, and and of craft beer. Yep. So um, I got that, my my that, wine one sitting. Up. Yeah, if if you're if you're in Wisconsin. Um, Try to get a hold of one of those. I know that uh, Woodman's and some other places are getting uh, getting those, and Festival Foods in some places yeah. are got uh, you know have them too. So uh, check that out. Otherwise, I know that this year out of any year is probably the most that I've ever seen breweries making advent calendars or advent boxes or very you know it's a thing. Um, Twelve packs of you know whatever. So uh, I think they're kind of pulling out all the stops check all those out if if you've already um acquired one of those let us know about it in the comments below because we'd love to hear about it yeah That's, or if you're gonna make your own because a lot of people are doing that too yeah show us your stuff yeah absolutely um so we'll we'll have the the clown shoes on at some point and then of course the big mobcraft advent calendar will have uh various beers from that on too so Woo-hoo. so that uh we won't share any of my wine because I have a wine advent calendar, but that's going to be mine. Let's be honest. 2020 is the year of drinking. <laughs> it's uh, kind of a no holds barred kind of a year, and we're not judging anybody. So We got to make it through December. Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, also, for those of you that deer hunt, good luck this weekend. Uh, Beth and I will be out there in the woods, too. So yep. be safe. And that's the the best socially distant sport you could possibly ever do, is uh, deer hunting. So, with a good. mask. Yes, with a mask. <laughs> and uh, just save the beer drinking for afterwards. You know, right? Mm-hmm. Anyway, so that's going to do it uh, for us this week. Um, we'll try to find Troy and see if he's available for his uh, commentary on beer. And yeah, otherwise. Maybe we'll dig up Andy one of these days. Who knows? Right? Correct. All right. So from all of us at Taproom Travelers, we will see you next week, I promise. Prost. Prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time. <laughs>